absolutely brilliant astrology soulmates and I hope you guys are absolutely doing brilliant and beautiful out there. This is your weekly horoscope for the week of July 13th and first of all let me just say happy Mercury direct. Hopefully your Mercury retrograde was revealing and was useful and put you in a position and gave you opportunities to go back over things that need your attention so you can solve them, you can bring some peace to them, you can bring some closure or in the true fashion of Mercury so that you can gather the information that you need to move forward. I can tell you the Mercury retrograde, the day that it went retrograde, I started to get information about a past family property that is in another state and maybe they do something with it, maybe they wouldn't. It's been about a year and a half as Mercury's retrograde into Cancer. Man, it all came back to the table and the day that Mercury went direct, we were on the road to head back to taking care of that property. So it's just like they work like this, but during the Mercury retrograde, I gathered all of the information, information from lawyers, from the will, from the trust, from all of this came back out about this property. So it's so amazing when you can look back and see what actually happened during that retrograde that is gonna lead you to make some different decisions or even be more informed Mercury as Mercury's direct. So keep that in mind as we're traveling into this week, because I have to tell you this week, the word that I have for all of us is truth. Ground down in the truth. This is a week where we're going to see the Sun-Jupiter opposition, the Sun-Pluto opposition. And when this happens with Jupiter and the Sun, what essentially happens is that Jupiter is closest to the Earth. So things would get very Jupiterian, right? Like they get bigger. There's a lot of bigger that happens here. You oppose that to the Sun, our brightest, most motivated energy, and things can seem bigger. So you want to really stay grounded in the truth of, okay, wait, what is this the right size? Is this the right thing? I'm not exaggerating, am I? So ground down into the truth this week. We'll talk about that in just a second. I also want you to come and join us on the Eat and Greets this week. This Friday, we will have Linda Berry coming over on Friday at 2 p.m. Mountain Time. And we're going to be talking about not only the signs in vibrational astrology, but she is also an astrological researcher. So for my researchers, my detectives out there, there is is a space and a place for you in astrology and we want you to come to the table. So hopefully you will join us on Friday. Hopefully you've enjoyed the rest of the Eat and Greets. The podcast is up and going now. So if there's anything you haven't been able to watch and you just want to listen to it, they're starting to show up, including the monthly horoscopes as well. So lots going on in the Eat and Greets and around the channel to keep you informed and keep you seeped in the astrology knowledge. So let's talk about what's going on this week. Really, the focus of the week for me comes on Tuesday and Wednesday. So on Tuesday, what's going to happen is we have that Sun-Jupiter opposition. Now, an opposition says I'm going in two different directions, right? Now, typically, too, what I find in my practice is that an opposition tends to be relational as well. So you want one thing, the other party wants a different thing, right? So as we experience these energies up in the sky, one thing I want you to just be mindful of is, again, staying grounded in the truth because this is an energy where something is like a, a, it can be a mouse turd and it turns into a, a mountain right you take mouse turds turn them into mountains like it is something that's small and it gets made really really big it could be blown out of proportion and that can also be in a way that feels so good it's like no this is so good this is so great I'm so lucky and it doesn't mean that you're not but it means ground down in the truth maybe get another set of eyes so you're seeing things in the size that they need to be a lot is going on globally we can see news really get impacted we could see expansion happening out there especially in the polarization of relationships so you just want to ground down into what's the exact truth okay then just a day later, the sun is going to have that opposition as well with Pluto. Now, Pluto is our Phoenix energy, right? He's here to say, I need you to die off in this way so that you can live in this way. I want to bring you new life. But in that destruction, right, the Phoenix only gets its wings by doing the work to die off and to be reborn. So in that energy this week, I would tell you, be mindful of where you're opposed, Right? Where are you feeling opposed in your life and you're wanting to hold on to something? 
look and ground down into the truth. Is it really serving you or is it time for this to be brought up to the surface? Pluto is going to dig into something that is buried a little deep and that's your buried treasure, right? That is the energy that you want to go towards and say, is this still serving me? Is it time for me to let this go? Is it time for this to look a little bit different? Now, they're just a day apart. Jupiter and Pluto have been dancing and driving and moving around together. And they are trying to bring you new training, new information, new circumstances in your life. But as they dance together this week as well, you have that combination of, is it too big? Is this reality? Is this exaggerated? Plus, I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable. Maybe even a relationship around me is changing because it can be relational in an opposition and I'm making it the biggest deal ever. If something is trying to die off from you this week, if something is trying to move out and away from you this week, just ground down into the truth and say, maybe I don't even know if this is the right thing for me, but this is where your trusted friend, where your trusted tribe can also help you see beyond the only horizon you can see, which may not be the best seating in the stadium do your best this week to get down in within yourself and ask yourself if what's trying to go is trying to go for a really good reason and i will tell you too globally things are still a trip out there if you can watch your attitude you can watch your responses that is going to help you a lot. There's a lot happening on social media as well. And people are reading things. And then all of a sudden it turns into something huge. Someone makes an accusation about something. Instead of being an awakening, it turns into a bashing of something. So watch your reactions this week. And also, if you can, the beautiful part about any opposition is where can you find the middle ground? That's what we're always looking for in an opposition. Where can we find the middle ground, the compromise here, so that we can resolve the opposition and work with it instead of against it. All right, you guys, you're catching me in rare form in my little knotless headband and my Leo picture, but I hope you guys have a good week. Thanks for checking in with me. I can't wait to see you in the eat and greets on the podcast and in the soul's disappointments because I do believe there are a couple left. I look forward to seeing you next week. Let me know what's happening for you this week. Did something big come out of nowhere? And oh my goodness, what's happening during your Mercury direct time now that you found out during your Mercury retrograde? All right, you guys, I love you and I will see you next week from California. Bye, everyone.